What's up guys? So today is Christmas and I'm in Florida in this rental house um, for Christmas, winter break um, and we're here for um, to go to Disney World and it's funny because it's astounding how you can be in such a great place and not feel that happy and long story short something I knew would ha happen ha actually happened which was um, fighting with my parents I knew it would happen but yet again they didn't believe me so I was forced to go with them again for a week I knew we, it wouldn't last and it didn't um, but that's something I have to sort out on my own. I'm not here to vent. Um, today I stumbled across a thread on a forum called Social Anxiety Support. Um, it's a really big forum on this website. It's exceptionally crowded. And don't ask me how, basically I, I Googled and found it. It's not the first time. And it's, it's actually a huge forum. It's a social anxiety forum. And, um, you know, I'm working a lot of this through myself. Obviously, I, I still have a long way to go and a lot of stuff to change. But I, I was reading this one thread on this forum. Actually, the, the thread I came across through Google um, I dare not venture further into this forum because after skimming this thread I saw a lot of similar mentalities and people who were in similar mindsets that I used to be in but a lot worse very negative and self-deprecating and pretty much convincing themselves that you know this is all someone else's fault and a lot of like horrible stuff and then there's also a few members who are getting better and they're they're making progress but they're obviously nowhere close to there yet like there's people definitely trying to help and uh, you can tell that their mentality has changed they're, they're positive now but they're like oh I, I talked to this girl today and I was so excited and I didn't ask for a number because I knew she would reject me, but I talked to her today and now I've completely changed my mindset. Anyhow, I'm going to post a link to the thread in the, um, the, the description below. The thread is called Feeling Depressed After Seeing an Attractive Girl. And it's funny because in this semester of college, I have approached and talked to many people, girls and guys, um, and sometimes just bumped into them through just knowing like someone. So for instance, my roommate, we, he brought some of his friends along and we were eating dinner. And it just so happened I, I was boxed in with no one to talk to, but the guy on my right, I was at the end of the table and his body language was negative he was like pointing away from me he spoke quietly and when I didn't respond because like I, I didn't I, 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 I was fed up with constantly saying I'm sorry I, I couldn't hear you he, he, he just naturally assumed all this negative stuff like constantly like everything he was doing was just negative um, I was just Initially, I was trying really hard. I was like, what do you do? And he just, I was like, what do you do for fun? And he just got so shocked and shy. And he, like, he felt he was being judged. Like, I was, like, on, like, another social class than him or something like that. Which is astounding because look at me. I, I'm a nerdy Asian dude. And this is a, a white dude with glasses who's taller than me. And long story short, like, he just got, he just started lashing out negatively. He's like, I don't do much. And he, it, everything he said was just negative. And 
these this is like the type of people I see on in these forums and basically I just skimmed the thread but um, a lot of people are talking about how like they're, they're doing a lot of stuff they shouldn't do um, they're building stuff up that they shouldn't build their whole mindset and thinking process on things are, is warped and for instance the the original poster the OP he mentions how he sees attractive girls and this is also supported by a lot of the, the replies they, they all say they see attractive girls and they just become severely depressed and um, it's because uh, they, they feel like they they'll never see them again and it's this underlying tone of deep down they want to approach but they'll never admit it and they're feeling depressed but they don't know why and deep down uh, like this is something I've I've gone through myself it's, it's because deep down you you somehow think you have a chance but the rest of you the greater majority is trying to convince you you don't and then they're depressed because then they see the girl they know they don't have a shot and then they, they know they'll never see them again and so forth and they also the, the original poster he also does a lot of other stuff he knows it's bad he says he he says he knows it's bad, but he still imagines how great their life is. And then he, he, he goes on to like build up this imaginary scenario about his their entire life and how great it is, and their relationships and parties they go to, and so forth. And then he goes on to say that he thinks it's even worse because he knows that if he did end up going on a date with him, it would d date with her. It would be ruined through social anxiety and um, just the fact that uh, he'd be so socially anxious and he knew he would have nothing to say when the girl said stuff like, so what do you do for fun? And sh he says, he would respond, I, I don't really do anything for fun, I just go on the internet. And he feels like his life is horrible and he, th and I'm quoting here, he's, he would do everything to and give up everything for her now some of you guys might be face palming and some of you guys might be like oh there's nothing wrong with that well if you're not face palming then you have a lot of negative horrible mindsets that are pretty much prohibiting you from doing it and it's really astonishing because um there's further replies um, and they're complaining about how they're jealous that these th they see these guys with these beautiful girls and the guys are not as aesthet aesthetically pleasing as them, not as good looking, as fit and so forth and they're jealous and angry and it, it's very clear that dude then the only thing that's separating you from that guy is your your what's in your head it's not your appearance or anything else I mean look at me I, I have so much work on on my physical appearance, but there there are dudes here who are complaining how good looking they are and saying it's not fair. Well, obviously the only thing different about you is your personality. You probably have a fucked up personality, and that's why you're not doing that. I mean that dude probably has like twice the personality you can have. And here's the thing, that's something you can change. I mean, good looks and like. Like for me, it's 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 tougher because, I mean, I have to go to gym for years to get buffer and then switching out my contacts. Like I, I've been trying for years, but it still takes me like up to half an hour to put in contacts and look good and like organize my clothing and stuff like that. But if you have all that physical feature stuff covered, I mean, personality is so much easier to change. Well, not always, but it's it's doable. And I'm just going to go back to the original poster because I'm not some guru. I'm still definitely working through this. And honestly, I didn't get into this crap to to really help others. I mean, sure, it's great to help others and stuff, but um, I feel like a lot of these people in this thread, they're just so screwed up in their negative thinking that they they can't be helped. Like I've tried, and they they like 
just like that guy I met in real life, my roommate's friend, he was just so screwed up in his negative thinking that um, just talking to him, like he wouldn't get anything through his skull. He wouldn't believe anything. He just like lashed back out negatively. And like, I honestly haven't gotten to where I want to be myself. So what's, what's the use? But uh, long story short, this may help some of you guys. And I, I'm just going to keep it quick. Um, that original dude, first off, um, there's no point wasting your time sort of imagining and feeling sorry for yourself or, or being, wishing you wanted, you were in some other place. Stop comparing yourself to others. That's what screwed me up so much. Facebook and Instagram, you're constantly be going, going to compare yourself to the best people, which, which screwed me up immensely delete all that close down your Facebook and looking at how how much better you are than the rest of the world and not comparing yourself to these top of the notch people and, and stop whining there's so much you can change about your own lifestyle um, instead of just sitting there and choosing to stay on the internet all day and there's other stuff too like what like he, this guy is literally just complaining that he has nothing going for himself and even if he were to go on a date with this girl he'd have nothing to show for himself and he's all angry and bitter and feeling like the world has wronged him and that's the stupidest thing ever it's, it's like you, you did this to yourself there's so much you can change and you, you can change so much with your lifestyle if you really wanted to and all these people are lying to themselves thinking they can't like you could immediately just stop going on the internet and that's a huge change rather than spending your entire day on the internet just do it somewhere else use that time more productively and boom slowly but surely baby step it and your life may one day become like that with those great relationships and parties and so forth that you imagine this girl you see you go to and um, I don't know. I I really didn't get into this to help all these people because a lot of them, at least in, in this thread I'm I'm watching, they don't even want to be helped. They're doing this to themselves. This is really to the ones who, deep down, at some point, believe that they can do something that can change their lives one day this is to the ones who can actually believe in change because the others no matter what you tell them they're not going to change they're just constantly negative and then to those guys screw them there's, there's not much i can do um so the first step is you have to be willing and I, i'm still along this track but um in certain ways, I'm proud of myself. Um, I've done stuff others may never do in their lifetime. In fact, the last approach, it wasn't a direct approach, but the last approach I did um, was yesterday to a girl. And um, I still have a long way to go. I still chicken out a lot. Um, but I've come a long way and there's a long way more to go. And I think the biggest thing for me is a lot of times I'll preach something, but I won't mean it. And that's because I've, I don't believe in myself. And that's why um, I'm not gonna do all this stuff just to give you like a, a false, false belief or anything. Um, and in order to do that, I'm going to actually get results first. So I, I can really believe in it myself. I've actually made a few videos I've never uploaded as of yet. Maybe I will in the future. Where I say stuff like, you don't need girls to be happy and so forth. But even in the video, you could tell that I partially didn't believe in myself. 
and it's because I, I never really gotten a, a girl like a straight girl like me well I have but like not like uh, past the number never gone past the number for one reason or other so um, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can get there and the rest is just up to you guys um, peace as always like favorite comments subscribe